It's a Saturday wrap, and uh, the movie wrap as well. Marcus Washington joining me tonight on Tame Bartholomew. Happy Saturday. How are you, Marcus? Very well, Tano. Very well. Fantastic Saturday. Fantastic week. And uh, yes. here we are. It's just after 7.30, and we're here to talk to the world about real estate. <laughs> There's no, wrap, uh, no up footy the month, wrap up the no month footy. of uh, September as well. That's it. No footy to watch uh, this week. So I believe I, I did make a bet with you last week. I do owe you, uh, I do owe you lunch, mate. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Nando's it is. Nando's it is. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, mate. Well, uh, when we can get back in the office, we'll get that. So we'll see you in about 2024, maybe. So it's uh... yes, yeah. I'll, hold, I'll still remember it. I'll put it down on one of these sticky notes behind me, and uh, I'll be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, know what a big week, and congratulations to the D's. Um, you know, and all those Melbourne fans. There was a, I saw a lot of uh, tears on Facebook, and uh, a lot of people excited. So uh, it was great to see the D's uh, lift up the cup, mate. Yeah, it sure was. It was an amazing game, and uh, yeah, it was a great one to watch. Actually, it was um, definitely up there with um, one of the more exciting ones. I think. Yeah, I know sometimes they can blow out and they can get massive scores, but I think every every goal they got was awesome. So um, yeah, it was pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Yeah, that, um, that last one was pretty impressive, wasn't it? So, um, but yeah, look, obviously a big big month in real estate. Big big week this week as well. Um, you know, we we come out of. I suppose a soft opening of the of the lockdown restrictions there, and able to do private inspections, which really helped uh, quite a number of properties get under contract and to be able to get buyers through there. But still, plenty of interest uh, marks from people looking at property. Yeah, definitely. The um, the inquiries are still coming in, which is fantastic. And I think um, there's a few properties which we're going to talk about today, which um, didn't have huge amount of inquiry, but definitely quality buyers. Which I think that's yeah. a big thing going back to is. Not always quantity is great. Um, it's it's all about the quality as well. So I think we've had some properties have huge amounts of interest and then some just had little drips and drabs and then we find the right buyer that suits that home. So, um, yeah, so it's definitely back to normal from that regards. And, um, yeah. yeah, obviously one-on-one -on -one inspections are still happening, which is is yeah. really good. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great to be able to see people and get them through homes and so they can get a feel of it and, uh, and go from there. But interestingly enough, we're still getting offers from people sight unseen as well. So um, there is that still that mixture of people that, you know, might be outside of the radius, you know, maybe in metro versus, um, you know, being in regional areas. So there's still buyers that are out there doing it and hence why we're still doing the full videos of properties to get to our buyers uh, so that if they can't make the inspections, they've got the ability to do that as well. So, um, yes. yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think that's one of those things like you just touched base on. Like we're still doing the Zoom inspections and we're still recording it for people to watch. Um, I had a lady from Torquay that was looking at one of my properties and um, we did the full Zoom. She loved it. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out for her. Someone else bought the house. But um, even the buyer that bought the house, um, you know, she watched the, the video and she loved it to get a really good understanding of the house before she came out. And um, I think moving forward, obviously, there's lots going on in, in the uh, political world at the moment. Moving forward, I think that's definitely something that we'll be doing um, to uh, give service to buyers that potentially don't want to go through it straight away um, and, and whatnot. So I think that's definitely one thing that we're taking out of all this is to keep uh, keep doing the Zooms. And I think just for, for buyers, uh, I had some buyers for a property today and, yeah, they, they'd seen the full video of the property, uh, made it much easier for them. And look, they were going there just to confirm whether they're making an offer on the property. So... They knew they already knew they loved the property. They knew they liked it. It was just really just going through it and finding fine tuning what they wanted to see uh, to then move forward with their offer. So, um, which is absolutely fantastic. So, look, we will go run through the numbers for the month as well, Marcus. So we had forty one properties go under contract. Absolutely huge effort from the from the team, from the whole team. I have to say thank you from our sales department to our admin team who just absolutely got smashed with files this uh, this month. There's no doubt about that. $29 million worth of property sold and average sale price of uh, 710000 So some, some big, big numbers there, Marcus. Yeah, I think um, back when I started uh, in the 2010, started 2011, the median price in Pakenham was, uh, I think going back then, it was about 290 to 320 something like that. Um, and now, you know, 40 sales for the, 41 sales for the month, um, obviously, different areas as well but just to say that was 710 was the average um yeah. that's quite an increase in 10 years and uh the, it's the old saying you hold property for 10 to 15 20 years it's going to probably double in price it's pretty much what's yeah. happened um yeah. in most cases i believe 
Yeah, well, I, was, I started in 07, mate, and uh, we was, we'd sell a property over 200,000 and think we were, we were the kings of the world. So it's uh, it's it's definitely changed. And uh, it's it, look, it's amazing to see that, that the, the buyers that are out there at the moment uh, and just, I suppose, the heat that's uh, even, you know, Pakenham and Officer in the in the news as being one of the um, the highest growing areas. In, it was in the Herald Sun last week. So even just that, like the amount of inquiry we got from investors that hadn't necessarily been looking in the area, people are really seeing this area as a hotspot to, to invest in property, which is fantastic. Yeah, I think so. Like even um, the biggest one I found is the the land size. Um, our properties, anything sub 2015, which is on a, you know, 600 metre square block um, to 2000, 2010 to 2015, are doing very well at the moment. Um, not yeah. to say things above that aren't, but just saying that the land size is a massive component that people are looking for at the minute uh, because we know blocks, blocks is getting smaller, unfortunately. Yeah. And um, I think that's the big one moving forward. Anything above 600 or 550 yeah. meters square block um, is very hot property. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, how things change. How things change. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's it, mate. Well, let's, uh, let's, I'm going to jump onto the other screen and we're going to um, just have a look at a few properties that have sold um, this or gone under contract this week. Uh, and also, um, you know, some of the new listings that have come on as well. So it's just important for us to have a look at those. So if you are an upcoming buyer, you're thinking you're selling your home, it's a great, great opportunity to have a look at some prices in the area. So um, just moving forward to Six Dunmore Court went under contract this week. Um, Peter and Harry did an absolutely great job with this one. I know there was a heap of interest on this. Uh, fantastic pool area there. Um, you know, really, really great kitchen, heating, cooling throughout. Um, yeah, definitely plenty of interest on that. Um, once it goes sold, we'd obviously we can release the numbers on what that sold for. But fantastic property, um, well marketed by the boys, and uh, really, really exciting for the owners there. Fourteen, um, I always get this wrong, Marcus. What's the address of this one? Uh, <laughs> just, um, just it's it's Briar. I, I Briar. Believe. Fourteen Briarwood. <laughs> so, just uh, maybe yeah, write that one down. Um, yeah, this one we're under contract. We had plenty of interest on this home, and why wouldn't you? Uh, Garfield. It's renovated. It's on a massive block. Um, the owner's done an amazing job with the renovation, and um, yeah, we had plenty of private inspections there. Uh, obviously, just waiting on finance, but um, a really nice open plan living home. And uh, yeah, if anyone's uh, thinking of selling in Garfield or Bunyip. We've got plenty of people looking to buy out that way. It's um, yeah. it's another market out there. And again, a lot of people want to just go a little bit further, a little bit quieter, a little bit smaller town. That is yeah. um, your best option. And awesome schools out there as well, which is great for the primary school kids and things as well. Uh, Stacey did a great job at 29 Orchard Court in Drawn as well. So, um, you know, fantastic effort for Stacey on this one. There was all, I believe this one via Zoom. I believe, or I know a couple of the offers were via Zoom. I'm not sure which one of the people bought it, but, um, you know, Great opportunity for people. There's a video there if people want to go through and check it all out. But a great opportunity for people, um, you know, heading out to Druin and, um, you know, obviously that's classes regional, so they've opened up at the moment. Speaking of regional, 16 Brazier Court, uh, sorry, Street in Grantfield, Marcus. Uh, yes, this one went under contract. Um, yeah, I'm on sort of paternity leave at the moment and um, this was one that I, I, I snuck in there. Um, Stacey couldn't get down there, so I snuck that one in and, um, yeah, got the buy through. And, yeah, again, this is one that we had multiple interests off the Zoom and um, had a few private inspections. And, yeah, obviously there's a few hoops to jump through with subject to finance and all that kind of thing. But, um, again, the regional side of things, a lot of people are moving out further, as we know, and uh, a lot of people are moving into state. Um, yep. So, but, yeah, still people are coming to our, our local area. So it's all yep. exciting, really, with the amount of people making um, a big move. Yeah, definitely. And some new listings this week, Marcus, who started yesterday, uh, a great property at Eliza Heights in Pakenham. Yes, uh, number seven, four bed, two bathroom, two car, um, open plan living. And um, I believe there's been a lot of interest on this home. Um, the owner's done an amazing job there. She has done a fair bit of work to get it back up to scratch when she purchased it. And um, yeah, she, it's, a, it's a decent home, nice big living areas, big bedrooms as well. And um, yeah, right up there in Cardinia Lakes, uh, yeah, really, it's become one of a really hot spot of an area for. Oh, no, I don't mean hot spot as in coronavirus. I mean hot spot as in <laughs> purchase, uh, property purchase. Uh, people want to live there, so uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely, and it's great that we can get the photography done uh, on the on the properties now. Now we we do have our three D tours back on board, which is absolutely fantastic. 
Uh, the guys at Direct are doing an amazing job with this and it just showcases the property for, for buyers to have a really good solid look through the property um, before you get out there. So make sure you jump on there. There's other ways to interact with the property down here if you hit the furnish and the photo styling um, function. Um, we do have a, a video on this previously before, but jump on there, check that out. You can use it on your phone, on your, uh, on your tablet or on your desktop. Uh, it's a great way to get a better visual of the home as well. 20 Murray Cor uh, Road in uh, Coral Inn, mate. This is a fantastic property. Yes, um, yeah, 40 acre property, um, just absolutely stunning, ready for horses. It's all built for horses, but the um, the soil there is also good for a market garden if you want to grow um, all different types of vegetables. And um, yeah, honestly, the owner's done an amazing job renovating this home. Um, the ceilings are, oh, they, they're just enormous, the ceilings. And it's really a, a like a, a ranch style home that you can just move into and it's all been done very, very well. And Everything's done there, so you just would move in, not have to worry. Uh, Coralin, it's it's not that far anymore. I mean, you got Queer Up on one side, you've got Garfield, Tynong on the other, and um, you're not far from the racetrack either. So it's great for anyone that's um, uh, looking for horses, adjustment wise. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, it's yeah, it's it's a real showcase home, which I'm I'm really looking forward to selling. And we've got a few buyers lined up already for that one. Yep. And um, yeah, the owners have yeah done an amazing job, and time for them to move further out as well. Yeah, fantastic. Huge dam as well, loose boxes all set up. So if you did want to start an adjustment business, that looks like an ideal setup. There's no doubt about that. So yeah, great opportunity for, for the next owners. Uh, for Strickland Court in Pakenham, uh, this was obviously uh, Peter D and Harry listed this one. Fantastic property. This one, obviously they're D supported. They've got the D's uh, in the window there. Good on them. Um, beautiful <laughs> kitchen in this one. A great, a great size backyard too. So I think... Um, these and the, and the, the high ceilings that really give this home a different sort of feel about it as well, which I think is fantastic. So, um, yeah, great opportunity for a first home buyer, investor. Um, you know, it's, it's a really, really nice property, great location. Uh, and as you can see, a really functional floor plan there as well. So on the market for um, from 580 to 620, so definitely attracting that first home buyer market. And I know it's going to get plenty of interest on it, that's for sure. Seems good value for money. It does does definitely mate so but there you go that's uh just a bit of a wrap of uh what's on the market what's been uh, under contract this week obviously what's been sold this month has been a huge month but well onto yourself marcus obviously new baby uh big month of sales you and stacy did an amazing job and um yeah how was how was how was little fletcher gone yeah really good actually he's um he's actually sleeping better than lakey slept so i don't understand everyone i was gearing up for like no sleep, but um, yeah, it's been great to spend the time with the family. I mean, I don't get a lot of time off and it's been a massive 12 months, as we know. So it's just yeah. um, good to recharge and regroup. But um, yeah, Stacey's done an amazing job. Everyone in the office, the admin girls, everyone's just been fantastic and supportive. And um, yeah, just uh, been good to recharge and, um, you know, get back. get back. I'm back Tuesday. So if anyone wants to talk to me, I'm back Tuesday. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm sure Stacey will be wrapped to have the phone not diverted to her anymore. That's for sure. Yeah, she will be. <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, no one wants that burden, mate. No one wants that for sure. So. <laughs> A uh, big thank you to uh, to everybody, um, you know, especially at, at Harcourt's back end, but also, uh, um, you know, everyone that supports us, um, you know, we, we, we're just having success after success. And uh, I'm so proud of our team and how hard they work. Uh, and uh, it's just been a, a huge, huge last couple of months. There's no doubt about that. And an absolutely enormous last 12 months. So big thank you to the team there. And thank you to our clients for trusting us with their biggest assets. And uh, we've got some exciting properties coming on next week. Uh, I've got a 2,680 square meter block coming up in Nardo Goon. Um, we've got a, an acre property up in Gembrook as well for anyone that's looking for those sort of properties. Ooh, uh, we've that'd got a few listings. Nice. Sorry? That'd be a nice one up in yeah. Gembrook. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, so, yeah, there's definitely some really, really good opportunities out there in the marketplace at the moment. So, if you are looking for something, please, you know, and it's not online yet, get in contact with our team and we can put you on the database, get you in contact with um, as properties come on the market. There's definitely some opportunities to buy properties off market as well. So, um, yeah, great, great things out there. So, look, again, thank you so much to everybody for watching. Have a great Saturday night. We'll see you next week and uh, I'll talk to you soon, Marcus. See you later, guys. See you time.